The Galaxy A55 is Samsung's most premium mid-range smartphone scheduled to launch in 2024, and it has just appeared on the Geekbench benchmark portal with the latest operating system, Android 15. But first, for all the latest tech news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to smash that like button. That marks the beginning of a whole new cycle of software updates for this device since Android 15 is expected to be the first of four major operating system updates promised for the Galaxy A55. Furthermore, the official release of One UI 7.0, which will be based on Android 15, is expected in 2025. The Galaxy A55 has managed to record very high and impressive scores on the popular benchmarking platform known as Geekbench, registering a very high single-core score of 1161, along with an equally impressive multi-core score of 3369. These impressive scores undoubtedly point to the fact that the device is bound to exhibit robust and efficient performance which will be constructive in running everyday tasks quite smoothly, along with facilitating effective multitasking over the device. Furthermore, a number of benchmarks of the Galaxy A55, which is currently running the highly anticipated Android 15 operating system, have appeared of late and they tend to indicate that the development work on this major update had been going on at a pretty fast clip in recent times. Beta Program Speculation While the official announcement and release date of One UI 7.0 is set in stone for the year 2025, there is increasing rumor that Galaxy A55 owners in some select countries may have the opportunity to participate in an early beta testing program that is predicted to begin later in this year. However, it needs to be noted and remembered that Samsung typically favors flagship devices in terms of beta testing before slowly opening this up to mid-range model inclusions, of which the Galaxy A55 is no exception into their rollouts. Features and Updates Coming Samsung has been actively testing the upcoming operating system, Android 15, on various devices, including models like the Galaxy A53 and A54. While slowly gaining momentum in excitement and anticipation within the tech world, Samsung is readying itself to unveil the very first public beta update for the Interface One UI 7.0. Initially with a focus on the newly launched Galaxy S24 series of smartphones, confirmed countries for this beta release of the software include the United States, the United Kingdom, Germany, Poland, India, and Korea. It is worth noting that the beta release in China is currently unavailable. Historically, Samsung has set a trend of announcing their beta programs in a series of phases, first releasing to the most key markets that they consider important, then gradually releasing to other regions and markets after that. However, this year, there is a sense of optimism and hope that they may decide to buck this trend and release the beta simultaneously across all eligible markets all at once, trying to make up for lost time that has been experienced in the past. Once the second phase of the beta program officially begins, it is expected that Samsung will expand further by including more devices from its flagship lineup that was launched during these years, 2023 and 2024. To take part in this wonderful opportunity, signups will need to be completed via the Samsung Members app, which has already been put in place to enable beta participation for users. To wrap it up, despite the Galaxy A55's performance on the Geekbench platform delivering a lot of promises toward a strong and impressive future with the upcoming Android 15 operating system alongside One UI 7.0, users must moderate or temper their expectations of these updates' immediate availability. This is because Samsung is continued in paying attention to its flagship devices above all else in their update strategy. As always, we invite you to stay tuned for further information and updates as we approach the time for official announcements. Which features are you most excited about experiencing? Tell us in the comments below.